Things are beginning to get interesting for the iPhone 8. There have been a lot of leaks this week in the news and in different websites. I'm sure you guys have heard about them. I've posted about a bunch of them on my channel here this week. And now we may even have confirmation from Apple that the release date of the iPhone 8 is actually set in stone. Now this news comes from Apple's third quarter earnings report, which they actually did today on August 1st. I'm gonna jump into the details for you guys in this video. So let's jump right in. So we are officially one month away from the supposed release date of the iPhone 8, and many rumors have actually said that that actually will not be the release date. Now, iPhones have typically been released in September, guys, and everyone is actually saying that it is going to be delayed. It's going to be super expensive. It won't be released this year in September. It will actually be delayed to the October or November time frame. They need more time is essentially what all the rumors are saying. Now, obviously, this is bad news for those of us who are super excited for the iPhone 8, but we also have seen good rumors on the opposite end of things. Just this week, Apple actually leaked their own iPhone 8 final design along with many of the features of that device. Now, if you want to catch that video, I actually posted it up here on my channel. You can see all of the new features and the design actually confirmed by Apple in a huge, massive leak, guys. So that was actually positive news and it really actually is hyping up the device. But this video is about the release date and I really just want to get into the details of their earnings call. So if I go to Apple's official website here, as you guys can see, they posted a press release detailing many of their results. So they actually had revenue growth of 7% and an earnings per share growth of 17%. And their stock actually is going up as of today due to this strong growth. Now, the statistic that I found even more interesting is on iDownload blog, they actually listed out their exact numbers. And the iPhone actually had 41 million sales versus 40.4 last year. The iPad amazingly went up 15% to 11.4 million sales versus 10 million last year. And Max went up 4.3 million versus 4.2 million last year. So the iPad growth was definitely the biggest, but they did mention something that really did actually foreshadow the iPhone 8. So going to Yahoo Tech News here, guys, this is actually the announcement that Tim Cook made that really made a lot of analysts wonder and sort of confirm that the iPhone 8 will be included in the September release time frame, as opposed to the rumored delays that we've been hearing in the rumors. Now specifically, Apple actually provided forward guidance for the fourth quarter of 2017, which is the period that ends in September, just usually usually a couple weeks after the iPhone is released. And they said they would project that they would sell 49 to $52 billion of products. Now analysts actually predicted the 49 billion, but because they're predicting such a high range, everyone has been speculating that this would mean the iPhone 8 would be a major driver for that inside of September. But Tim Cook actually gave a quote that actually made us all speculate. And he said, we've put everything we know into coming up with the guidance. We really like what we see for the beginning of the back school season. Now this is the best news we've gotten about the release date in a while guys because it is not full confirmation that the iPhone 8 is coming this fall but it's very very interesting it's a very strong indicator that we probably will see something good from Apple this September just inside the fourth quarter. Now I'm assuming this is going to be the iPhone 8 because if Apple is projecting three billion dollars over what the analysts on Wall Street are projecting them to sell that means they're not going to just be selling some incremental iPhone with not very exciting updates or or something like that, they're gonna be focusing on something that's gonna get the people going wild, and they wanna sell three billion over, that's a ton of money. I really do think they're gonna sell something awesome, and in, in my opinion, guys, I really do think this is going to be the iPhone 8. So what analysts actually are predicting is that the iPhone 8 will be limitedly released in September, just like the iPhone 7 was with small shortages and really a small production line. And then they will catch up later in the year, which is what we've seen every year for the different iPhones, especially the iPhone 7. But overall, very interesting to see the results of their Q3 earnings call. iPhone 8, I expect to be released in September. Great news to see that it's not going to be delayed. And this is near confirmation of the iPhone release date. Definitely great news to go along with the leaks we saw earlier this week. I'm very excited about the iPhone 8. We'll definitely keep posting here on my channel about it. Anyway, be sure to click that subscribe button, guys, for more on the iPhone 8. Thank you for watching, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, my website page, my Instagram page, and my Patreon will all be down in the description. Great ways to support me and stay in touch with me. Also, drop a like on this video if you are excited for the iPhone 8, and I do post weekly videos here, so stay tuned for those, guys. And as always, guys, stick around for the next one, and stay awesome. Peace.